So the Wellness Fair, uh, this is our 13th year with the Wellness Fair and it's expanded and grown. Um, our last time we ran it was in 2014. It's, uh, it's been almost two years now. We decided to pull back a little bit and uh, make it an every other year event. Uh, the Wellness Fair in its in its historical state has been primarily wellness vendors, however that's expanded now. We have the HPTA that is actually doing a summer camp that uh, coincides with the wellness fair on the same day uh, in the same location which is going to be in the athletic center and the cafeteria. So we have roughly around 50 or so vendors coming either summer camps or wellness only vendors um, to the uh, fair. Uh, it'll be from 10 to 1 o'clock on Saturday, March 5th and last time we had roughly around 500 participants so it's 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 grown uh, we hope to continue to have it grow um, it's been a great community um, sort of a tie-in to our uh, boston marathon and uh, healthy living that we have or that we talk about a lot in our schools so it's a very nice tie-in to that and it's um, it's been a very good promotional tool for our department as well um, i must give credit to uh, jill leach who actually was the person that started this um, some 12 years ago and uh, she was the former uh, wellness coordinator for the district and it was sort of her um, brainchild and it's just sort of expanded from there and I've just since I've come on board I've taken it for the last four years and we've, we've expanded it so um, from that standpoint uh, the more the welcome you know please please do come bring your kids we do have all kinds of activities from the various vendors uh, we'll have Southwick's Zoo here as well um, bringing possibly some animals. We're not quite sure yet, but that could be a possibility. So uh, please do come. Uh, it's a short time frame from 10 to 1 on Saturday, March 5th, and we look forward to having you. Can you specifically talk about any of the activities that are going to be happening there? Uh, so our various vendors that we have and the activities that are going on, we're going to have a little dance troupe that will come through and do um, uh, an event for us. Uh, we also have uh, YMCA. They're doing various things through their personal training for fitness. Uh, we also have uh, CrossFit coming in to do some things as well. Uh, we're still working on some vendors that would possibly bring in some sporting events uh, for the kids uh, to coincide with the event itself. Uh, we also, the, probably the biggest thing is that we have food vendors. Um, various food is going to be provided through Price Chopper, uh, supermarkets, uh, also Waterfresh Farms, Boar's Head, Whitson's, which is our food service provider here in Hopkinson Public Schools, will be here with food and samples and so forth. Uh, so we're going to have a contingent of different types of vendors that have food. Um, but also at the same time, we actually have Metro West Medical Center who will be doing glucose checks, uh, screenings for cholesterol. Uh, we have Melanoma Foundation coming in to do a screening as well. Uh, they have the blue light hooded um, tool that they use to scan the skin for uh, skin cancer and things like that. So we have a whole host of different activities coming in. Uh, the Greyhounds, which have been with us uh, since, um, since day one, are coming back too. So they'll have a couple of their uh, rescue dogs uh, on site. So that's going to be a, a nice thing to see again.